So I've recently shot my first roll of Kent Mayer 400, a medium format film. Um, I don't know what to expect from it. Um, I also was testing the new film back for my medium format camera. I don't know if the back is fine, if there are any light leaks, um, but um, I'm hoping to get some interesting shots there. Uh, really excited to scan the, the film later today. Let's go find out. I get my film. Uh, it's looking good. Um, doesn't seem to have any light leaks, so the bike is fine. Uh, the exposure seems to be all right, so I'm really excited. Let's go home and scan it. So everything's ready for scanning. I have my tripod set up, the camera is calibrated using the mirror method. And I'm using the Essentials film scanner for the medium format and uh, new Sinister Light for scanning. All right, let's do it. Okay, let's develop the negatives. Uh, I've loaded them in Lightroom. Uh, I need to edit them first to prepare them for uh, Negative Lab Pro. Let's just crop them first. black and white settings I usually use the linear tones to make the photos a little bit more flat so that later I can add contrast as much as I want to instead of just having a lot of contrast from the beginning and I use the lab level of sharpening It's really hard to focus on the moving objects with a medium format camera. Okay, 
damn it, I nailed the focus here. Damn it. Yeah, as you can see. So we can see the couple negative cell, all right. Let's compare Kiltmere with HP5. So here on the left, we have HP5, and on the right, we have Kentmare 400. Kentmare seems to have less grain. I like the details of it a little bit better, to be honest. And for the HP5, I was using completely the same scanning process. Yeah, overall, Kent Mayer has less grain, kind of cleaner image. So again, HP5 on the left and Kent Mayer 400 on the right. But I would say, yeah, this, these two are a bit closer. Maybe the previous one, HP5, was a little bit underexposed. Quite similar, this two, in terms of green. Overall, I like the details on Kentmare. I think it, it holds um, in comparison with HP5. This one looks good. This one looks particularly good. I like the tones and the contrast. I like the contrast. Right out of the box. Right out of the box. I didn't do anything. I didn't change any contrast exposure settings. That's just as it is. Yeah, the contrast is very nice and the grain is pleasant to me. It's kind of subtle, uh, especially in this area with the ice. A lot of the... that's like a very smooth surface and the grain looks pleasant on that. So, Kent Matt, Pan 400. It's a black and white panchromatic uh, film. Panchromatic means that it covers the whole color range. It's produced by Harman Technologies, uh, which is the same company that is producing um, Ilford HP5. Uh, and they claim that it actually has a lot of the similar properties as HP5 um, while being cheaper. I got this roll for $4.95. Um, you can find it for around $5. Um, HP5 uh, is actually around eight dollars, sometimes more expensive. So, uh, as we could see from the examples, uh, it's actually really good. And being cheaper, I I'd probably use it uh, instead of HP5. I really like the contrast. Uh, I like the details and the the grain. So. It's really nice. It was previously available in 35 millimeter format, and now uh, it's available in 120. I really like it. It was the first roll that I tried, and it didn't disappoint. All right, thanks for spending time. See you in the next one.